Shalom, I want to start off saying, Call like Mala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Wachakodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Nathan Masana Kabbalah has crime, Shah's Allah, which means give honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom, which is rare, and Shalom, Allah, which means peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come on, what you give on that lesson on the brother I nah from the Jim Smith Smith's account. Basically, was just a lesson on that quick video. I think um come from the Netflix uh series, The Last Kingdom with um Utrecht um battling uh Uber, I believe, man. And I just found that spiritual, you know, how he um, you know, cut his heel, you know. And what came to mind was Jacob and Esau, you know. Because, you know, the hill, you know, that's the, that's basically the foundation, man. You know, you don't, hey, <laughs> that's basically your foundation, man, your hill, you know. So, hey, Lord, will you be edified through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemoshah, man. So, I'm going to just uh, get this in a quick article from webmd.com. You know, it said the uh, Achilles tendon is a tough band of fibrous tissues that connect the calf muscle to the heel bone, you know. Um, yeah, this last verse, last paragraph, I said the Achilles tendon is the largest and strongest tendon in the body when the calf muscle flex, flex, the Achilles tendon pulls on the heel. This movement allows us to stand on our toes when walking, running, or jumping. So this movement allows us to stand on our toes when walking, running, or jumping. Despite its strength, the Achilles tendon is also vulnerable to injury due to its limited blood supply and the high tensions placed on it. So, right, man. So, when he... So, when he got his, you know, his shit cut, he, he instantly fell down. You know? You can see. He fell down, man. Because uh, without that, man, you, you ain't walking, man. You know? So, let me uh, read this account. Uh, Genesis 25, I'm going to start 23. And the Lord said unto her, two, two nations are in that womb, and two men of people should be separated from their bowels. 
and the and the one people should be stronger than the other people, and the elders should serve the younger. Right, two different people, you know. <laughs> brothers, hey, they brothers, but two different people, man. You know, hey, like I said in the NLT, they will be rivals. You know, Jacob and Esau, man. This why this hatred between so called Negroes and so called white people would never go away. You know, this hey, this tension, this this uh, hatred would never go away, man. Until Esau be done away with. <laughs> you know, it said 24, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were trans in our womb. And the foes came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Right, because, hey, they not, they not white. You know, ain't nobody white, no black on this planet. You would light a light shade of pink reddish to a dark shade of pink or reddish, man. Or light, a light uh, shade of brown to a dark shade of brown, man. You see? But yeah, so the first came out was Esau. His name was Esau, you know? And after that, that came out. So like, and after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau here. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she built him. Right, man? You see? You know? So, hey, it said uh, Jacob took, took hold on Esau here, man. And this basically a symbolic of us um, um pulling pulling Esau down, you know, symbolic of uh, 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 power, man, you know, transition of power, man, you know, it, the Israelites is taking down uh, Edomites, you know, Jacob, Jacob is you so called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, you know, so right, cause when you grab someone here, you basically. Uh, preventing them to walk, you know, it's about uh, them, um, preventing someone to, uh, to walk, basically, man, you know, so right, man, let me get Daniel 7 18. It said, But the saints of the Most High should take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, man. So, forever, man, the saints of the Most High should take the kingdom, man, and a hey, <laughs> hey, physical, man, for us, hey, that's why the scripture said, Wait upon me. Till I rise to the plate, man. You know, it's not a hey, not marching, you know, protesting, begging the Lord. I mean, it's like begging Esau you know, to hand over the kingdom, man. No, man. It said the sense of the Most High should take the kingdom, man, by by violence, basically, man. You know, this is uh second answer six and seven. The answer I said, what should be the parting son of the times, or what should the and when should be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand had first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. And that's the point. Jacob hand had first the hill of Esau, man. Hey, <laughs> you know, Esau is coming down. We're pulling Esau down, man. And we're going to be on top, like the um, prophecy said, man, in Genesis. 25 and on uh, 23. And the Lord said unto her, two nations saw in that womb, and two men of people should be separated from their bowels, and the, and the one people should be stronger than the other people. And that's us, the so called Black Hispanic Latinos and Native American Indians, man. We are stronger, you know. And the elder should serve the younger, you see. The elder should serve the younger. The elder, who came out first? 25, Esau. Verse 25. The elder should serve the younger, man. So this was set up from the beginning, man. This was set up from the beginning, man. You can't get around it. Romans 9, if I think 5. Nine and all, neither because of it. Uh, 11, sorry. Romans 9, 11. For the children may not yet born, neither have done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Messiah, according to election, might stand that of folks above him that called it, man. You see? So I said, the church being not yet born. So this was already set up in the spirit. Because you got, you know, Christians say, he's, you know, Jacob stole the birthright. No. No, it was already set up from the beginning for Jacob to receive the birthright, man. You know, it, it, what it say? It was said unto her that elder should serve the younger. It says, written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know, and this is, you know, this is um, Paul, you know. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. 
what should we say then? Is that unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid it, meaning not. Of course not. Fuck no. Hell no, man. I ain't no unrighteousness with the Most High, man. Except for he said I would have Moses. So like, except for he said to Moses, I would have mercy on whom I would have mercy, and I would have compassion on whom I would have compassion. You see? So that's pretty much it. Just go on, just uh, find this clip, you know, this scene. And Lord really don't take the video down. You know, I just found this scene, you know, kind of spiritual. He, though, cut his, uh, you know, his Achilles, his heel, you know. Hey, this is representing Esau down for Esau. It, hey, we at the end of this. Esau is the end of the world. And, and, and Esau ending, it's our beginning. You, you see? Esau ending, it's our beginning. You know, where it says Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning, man. You know, so Jacob hand here, folks, the hill of Esau, man. We pulling him down, man. The, hey, we up next. We about to come in power. Not the Chinese, not the Russians, none of that. You know, we about to come into power through the spirit of power of Yahweh. He said the saints of the Most High should take the kingdom, man. And possess the kingdom forever and ever, you know? Then you seven. You no, know, since I said them, jump down to 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven should be given to the people of the saints, of the Most High. Who are the saints? Israel, the Israelites, man. You know? that These are the saints, the Israelites, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion should serve and obey him. Right? Everybody going to bow down, man. You would have said out of Jacob... Isaiah the second chapter, uh, Isaiah two, and uh, you start one. I'm gonna start two, and this is gonna pass in the last day that the mountains of the house of the Lord should be established in the top of the mountains and should be so like and should be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. You see, and many people should go and say, "Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the Most High of Jacob, and He will teach us of His ways, and He will." And we will walk in his path for Alexander should go forth the law in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, man. You know? So, hey, the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites, man. You know? Yeah, all nations going to be in the kingdom. But, hey, the other nations, they're going to play their role as a slave. You know? They're going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven, man. And after a thousand years, they're going to be good, man. You know? But that's still going to pay tribute to us, man. But it's that Alexander should go forth the law with Israel, man. You see, hey, this the one, this the new world order right here, man. You know, that everybody go bow down to our Lord Yahweh by Shem Shah, man, and serve Him, man, and obey Him, man. You see, so hey, they pretty much in on it, man. You know, going in on this, man. You know, the heal, you know, because hey, if, if your if your Achilles, you know, break or however, man, torn or whatever, you you can't walk, man. You 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 not fucking walking anymore, man. Just like with this guy, man. His shit got cut. He 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 went down. You see, he went down, you know? And this hey, this the foundation, man. And we pulling Esau down, man. Through the spirit power of Yah Bush and Shot, man. We pulling it down. Like I say, I know I said I'm close, but it's the spirit, man, you know. Say Corinthians 10 and um, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start at three. It said, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk out of the flesh, for the weapons of our wherefore are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to pulling down of strongholds. Why you pulling down the strongholds, man? Christianity and all this shit, man. You pulling it down through the spirit power of y'all my shot, man. Spiritually, man. It said cast it down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high and break into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach, man. So we pulling all this shit down, man. Through the spirit power of the Lord, man. You see? So, right, man. So, hey, that's it, man. You know? You going in on this one again, you know? Hey, so, yeah. So, uh, once again, give our praises to you. How about Hamashiach? By Shem Kodash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great minister. Teach you well. And peace and love to the elect. With that, Shalom. Karmash Allah. Wa Baba.